Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Uh, wrap up show. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had uh, a great weekend. Apparently not only uh, can you watch this broadcast now on YouTube, but there's a longer version of um, a Twitter, right? Twitter, Elon Musk announced uh, about a week ago, there was a longer version that you can upload videos to Twitter. He's done actually a pretty great job uh, giving a lot of value for uh, though all of us uh, who have uh, the blue check marks actually pretty good value so for all you guys who are joining us on twitter on youtube on something called rumble right i had no idea what rumble was till four days ago but welcome aboard a like share subscribe or if you're on twitter retweet tweet 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 right whatever you have to do but thank you very much all jokes aside for uh your viewership and your uh ongoing support so let's talk about the tech right so last week we had this just an absolute um, it felt like parabolic move uh, in the markets, very aggressive, especially in the members of the NASDAQ 100. Uh, NVIDIA went nuts. Um, uh, Amazon went nuts. Google went nuts. Netflix went nuts. And, you know, we started talking about a potential exhaustion channel that is forming. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be the following day, but you're starting to see signs. We started seeing signs on Friday about names just got tired, right? Um, so I was definitely looking for some names to start looking, uh, start getting below their previous day's channels, their Friday's channels. And ironically, NVIDIA does fine. Uh, again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. But ironically, it's the names that I wasn't watching, right, uh, that you know, started taking down the previous channel. So, for example, my number one watch uh, today to the downside uh, was Google, right? Never, Google never got back uh, to Friday's channel. Uh, NVIDIA did, right? NVIDIA did. Gave a nice move and it hit the five-day moving average. There was nothing wrong with the video, but it was the other names that had the bigger runs that actually let go of some uh, back-testing effects. And you saw uh, Netflix, right? Netflix getting weaker. You saw Amazon uh, getting weaker. And this is all part of the organic back-testing process that stocks really, really need to kind of get a little bit of a rest. So if, they, if there is a next leg up, they need to have um, some some valid uh, rest structure, right? For you know, for kind of bulls and bears to reset, uh, both feel comfortable with the same uh, in the same uh, area of price action. And right now, we are starting to see uh, some names that are, that are coming out, uh, coming down, and coming down for nice, well-deserved rest. On the other hand, right, it's the stocks that are coming off the bottom of the range that we continuously talk about. That's where the value is. They're the ones that are getting stronger. We, we talked about. Uh, over the weekend, Tesla and Tesla has been absolutely on fire, right? Absolutely on fire. Doesn't if you don't trade Tesla, you kind of don't can't really appreciate that. But Tesla last week took out, you know, very very big levels. Took this very uh, small level here at seventy. Uh, Friday took out the seventy eight level, which ultimately confirmed and closed above the 50 day moving average and today it got above the channel that we talked about on the weekend video and traded almost that 190 area we talked about the 89 and a half 190 this whole gap has been filled now where where is the prospects of, of tesla nothing is better on a parabolic run or a good feeling type of setup than tesla as much as nvidia has been on fire and amazon and google a Tesla runaway train, and for all I get, and maybe I'm biased here because Tesla's my favorite stock to trade, but a Tesla runaway trade just feels a little bit different. As the kids say, it hits different. And that's exactly what we're there. We're literally one channel away, right? You guys see this top of the channel here, right? Top of the channel here. If it can clear out this whole top of the channel here, and it pretty much stopped at the linear regression line, what we talked about on, on Saturday. But if this thing can just get above one more channel, then you have this really, really phenomenal gap going to between 202 and 206. Uh, if you follow the price action, okay, and this is a very, very important point uh, in the options market, for the weeklies, they started all day, right? All day today when the stock just finally got above the 182 level, they, they were coming for the 190 to 192 50 weeklies. If you guys remember last week, right, they weren't coming for the 90, 92 50s. They were coming for the 205 for the Junes, 205s, 215s. We saw some 220s as well. 
So the key now for the future of Tesla, is it possible it has a res date tomorrow? Again, it had a really, really great four-day run. So it could possibly be maybe a scenario for an inside day. But here's the ultimate, you know, here's the ultimate prize. If we can get a close above this range here and clear out this daily linear regression line, then man, there's another 12 to 15 points potential in the stock. And when this stock goes supernova, uh, unfortunately, it makes all the other stocks uh, you know, it, it, you know, it just don't, they don't look as good, right? As much as NVIDIA goes nuts and Amazon knows nuts, everybody knows when Tesla goes nuts, it's absolutely uh, out of this world. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a move above this channel, this last channel here, and get a push into the 202, 206 level uh, going into the next week. So if you're not long Tesla, what you want to do is look for dips, uh, any dips either into rising uh, daily support or rising 60-minute uh, support because if t trades, uh, traders get trapped, eager shorts turn around. That's it. That's the run on Tesla. You know, it can always go red to green and start taking out uh, today's channel. So something definitely, definitely to pay attention for a bigger, uh, more aggressive move down the line. If you can just get above this linear regression line, I think it could potentially uh, do so. Um, if you look at the other names that woke up, right, we started talking about Meta, right, over the weekend, we talked about Meta. Meta, again, it was a slow starter, right, didn't play catch up until everything else. Today, the stock went ballistic at the open. Uh, names, uh, for example, not DraftKings, what was the other one? Uber, right, that we talked about on the weekend update, had a really, really nice push at the open. So it's the stocks that have been consolidating, the stocks have been coming off the bottom channels. So you kind of go back to video after video after video. Again, we're not talking about buying the video 19 days in a row. We're not talking about buying Google of 16 days in a row. We're talking about the stocks that are coming off the bottom channels. That's where we're getting a lot of value. And that's where the money flow is coming out of the Netflixes of the world, at least for now, short term. Netflix of the world, Amazons of the world. Uh, Google is still holding on, you know, still still on. But the point is they're coming out of something and needs to be put into, into something else. And that's where the money flow and that's where uh, the confidence uh, money flow is being traded uh, into names like Tesla, uh, like Meta, and even Shopify, right? Shopify, we talked about on the weekend update. I said, hey, if, you know, if they, if they could start reclaiming the 10-day moving average, and the 10-day moving average, if you watch the PS60 workshops or uh, you know been in the webinar, you, you understand how important this level is. It's the birth of the trade. And uh, Shopify last week, they were coming for the 62, 63s, and 65. Uh, calls expiring 526. That's this week's uh, weeklies. And this thing just exploded. So we had a really good amount of value uh, towards uh, the, the, you know, the start of the day, uh, going into the mid-morning. And the point is, it, it, while this is going on, the other stocks are resetting, right? And kind of getting a well-deserved uh, back test. So let's talk about it, right? Uh, on the queues, uh, again, I still want to watch the bottom channel here at 335. Nothing has changed. I, I, I still want to see if they could start losing this 335 channel. There's nothing to the upside of the queues. This is still just a runaway train. But the key, the value play is if there is an exhaustion cycle, we finally get a draft for everything, right? A drawdown for everything. We want to pay attention to this 335 level. If we can get below this 335, I do believe there will be a back test down uh, to the five-day moving average. Uh, if you look at the SPYs, Again, good consolidation. I have this big, big run up and reclaim this whole top of the range uh, from the April 1 high. Super bullish there. Uh, you have IWM, again, still not participating, right? The speculation money and the smaller cap names are still not participating how you want them to participate because, again, we're stuck in this whole supply. Now, where can, you know, where can the value be, right? Where can the value be for the IWM for a potential situation to get above supply? Well, McCarthy, what the hell that is, right? I read the headline like everybody else, is meeting up with uh, Joe Biden. They said, um, they I believe they said um, a June 1st, right? A, a June 1st, uh, you know, line in the sand, game of chicken for a potential default. A again, I've been trading for 24 years. Next year is going to be 25 They've been talking about this nonstop debt ceiling. They've always raised it. Again, is it possible they don't raise it this time and, you know, chance the stock market collapsing 25, 30% in the next three, four months? Maybe they will, right? We have no idea. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have the answers. I only take a day at a time, but that is uh, that is the proverbial line in the sand. Uh, even Janet Yellen said, well, that's the day uh, that is going to make it break it. Okay, we'll see. I mean, let's live to, uh, you know, June 1st, you know, first, right? And tomorrow's... Uh, only uh, May the 23rd. We still have a little bit of time uh, to get there. But again, the theme continues to be watch the stocks that are coming out of the bottom channel, middle channels, or distribution. 
and play those. Don't you know? Forget about the stocks that you know that had their magnificent, magnificent run. The value in them is gone. The value to them is, is on the back test. If we do poll in the next you know couple of days, and who knows, maybe we don't. Every single time I'm looking for a poll, and I'm ready for both sides of the market. The downside just doesn't come. We had a nice little pivot today on Nvidia, but the downside overall is just not coming. So again, we'll see. Again, the key is be prepared on both sides of the market. So let's talk about. Uh, today's pivots uh, again Friday. If you guys remember, uh, 178 on on Tesla traded to the 182 level, and today 182 needs to confirm to open up a pocket to the 190 daily. Right? They're coming for the June 200s and 205s, and again, this is just an it's been an absolute phenomenal trader. It really has. Um, so Tesla got above, you know, Tesla got above uh, this channel here on Friday, the 78 got above this channel here, 82, and traded right to the little below the 190 um, measure potential that it had. But hey, within 50 cents of a measure potential trade, up $9 in the day, phenomenal move. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught the trade and are still holding runners. Uh, this was a typo. It was 39.50 rejected twice, not 49.50, obviously. Uh, still valid. So Uber got above the 39.50. Right, Uber got above the 39.50 again. If the apologize, I'm dyslexic. Got above the 39.50 uh, and traded up a buck before uh, reversing course. Nice move there as well. Shopify was awesome. Okay, it was absolutely awesome. It basically went in a straight line uh, before it reversed towards the end of the day. Uh, 62 needs to build. That is to break the downtrend. And Shopify put up a two dollar candle. Really, really nice. It took down this whole range. Uh, got butt back above this green line, which is the 10-day moving average, and put in a high of 64 bucks. Just an absolute, uh, again, another case study how option flow precedes uh, price action and the underlying security. So great, great move there. Uh, Nvidia, nice little pullback, right? Nice little, nice little trade to the downside. Uh, 309, uh, 309. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, it wasn't really a flush, but it was a good little cash flow uh, trade. So here is the 309. Uh, here is the three, the whole 309 level that was Friday's channel, and it went down to like 30680s. But again, nice little trade. Again, I didn't expect it to get destroyed, and nor did we talk about you know potential back tests getting destroyed. Just kind of be prepared from for both sides of the market. So that was a nice little uh, trade there. Uh, obviously, we we're watching for Google. Never got there. We we're watching for Qs. Never got there. I was trading uh, Tesla and Shopify, so I missed Meta. Meta went nuts. Uh, 248.69. Uh, needs to build. Here was Meta. So it took out the two, uh, two, uh, 248.69 and traded almost to 254. Just an, let me look at this move here at the open. I mean, this is violence. I'm going to tell, you know, I'm going to tell my grandkids one day, this is where babies come from. So really, really strong move. If you got it, congratulations. But again, I'm not really upset because Tesla and Shopify were pretty damn cute. Uh, MQ82 uh, needs to build. A big block buyer came in for the June 5s. I think it only went up like a few cents and then died out. Uh, nothing really there. And that is it, right? That is it. So for tomorrow, guys, uh, you know, I want to pay attention to a couple of names. Obviously, uh, more upside on Tesla if possible, right? That would be sweet. Uh, but let me give you guys some ideas for potential movers for tomorrow. Let me see where I want to let me see where I want to deal with here. Let me see where I want to talk about. Um Let's start off with, um, let's start off with, you know what, let's start off with Apple. Um, so Apple has not really done anything yet. We caught this really great move a couple of days ago. What's cool about what Apple did today, it did hold uh, the five and the 10 day moving average, which is good. Um, keep an eye on Apple, not necessarily for tomorrow, but obviously my game plan is for tomorrow. But if it can just confirm today's channel, if you look at the 60 minute view, if it could get above this whole channel here, maybe it finally wakes up. Again, remember, the, the money rotation has to go somewhere. So if Netflix is resting and the video is resting and, you know, blah, blah, blah is resting, doesn't it have to go somewhere? We're, we're still in a very, very rapid market. Uh, so we definitely want to keep an eye on that. Again, this is not a typo, right? This is not a typo. GameStop does not look bad, right? Say it with me. GameStop, I mean, I wouldn't put my, my mother-in-law's money in it. But hey, you know, who, the, who am I to judge? This thing actually looks pretty good. So if you are... Uh, a game startup lover, man. If this thing starts confirming today's channel tomorrow, who knows? Maybe this thing wakes up. Uh, look at a name, for example, like Bill, right? Dollar Bill, right? From from um, from billions, right? If this thing starts taking out the top of the channel, as Dollar Bill would say, I am not uncertain, right? If, if this thing starts confirming this channel here, Bill could really, really wake up. This is a tight consolidation. I think it's a Chinese stock. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that. 
And NNOX looks, uh, you know, almost ready to go again. I mean, this it stopped here on this bottom, uh, on this middle channel here. If it could start reclaiming its today channel and, you know, get above this 60-minute supply, hey, maybe this thing wakes up as well and goes to recent high. So that's it, everybody. So if you are uh, interested into the pivots, would love to to try out uh, the webinar for the next 30 days. Uh, again, uh, it, it's a, it's a it's a very, very unique way of trading the markets. Uh, we trade via the 60-minute channel versus the 361-minute channel, as you see, that most people trade. It's a little bit different, less noise, and the most important part is you're seeing very, very clear ways uh, to uh, fight supply and demand and take advantage of price action. Guys, God bless. Hope everybody is well. Hope everybody is smiling. And with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.